Back to the Beginning Before I Fall was a book signing and discussion event led by New York Times bestselling author Lauren Oliver and her editor Rosemary Bronson. Oliver is best known for her YA dystopian series called Delirium and her first book Before I Fall. Because Oliver was promoting her young adult novel Panic, she discussed the process of Before I Fall because it was the first book that catapulted her to success. She also discussed the transition from writing YA novels and children's books to an upcoming adult novel called Rooms, which will be released in fall 2014. In an effort to promote her new book, she handed out small postcards of the book cover and flyers for an event on Panic. Lauren Oliver is also an editor and the co-founder of a literary company called Paper Lantern Lit, which, according to its website, mentors authors step-by-step -step through the novel writing process, providing a conceptual foundation, teaching narrative architecture, and constructing a platform for success. So Rosemary really helped me tighten it up. I should say, though, I mean, this is not the common experience I have when writing. Rosemary is an excellent, excellent editor, and actually, I incredibly meticulous editor, sometimes it's really annoying. <laughs> sometimes I'm like, I don't care that I use the same word on the same page, but I'm five days later. I'm like, I start to have like glimmers, like my mind will start to be like, oh well, maybe you could move chapter three, you know what I mean? Like my mind will start to like throw out solutions, and then eventually Just that like, I really do feel like, well if I could have written it better, then I would have. The first time, you know, you really feel a certain point, this sense of exhaustion of like, people ask me how I know like when to stop revising and turn it in, and the way that I describe it is like, you know how at Thanksgiving when you're having a really nice time and you're pretty full, but you're not that full, and then you take like another bite and you're like, I literally that's how it feels like when I'm done with the book. It's not like I'm suddenly like this book is done. I'm like, if I have to look at this one more time, I'm gonna vomit. I certainly do that. <laughs> experience of, I mean, look, and like there's always moments, and there are small points or whatever, points on which Rosemary might, might disagree or might disagree about the solution, like how to accomplish, we might agree that there's a, the same problem, but then just feel totally different about how we could resolve it. Um, but, um, you know, I, I work with, most of our authors are great, and um, and even our great authors, I mean, like it's, but we, you know, you do sometimes encounter authors who are just like, Nope, like my book is my book and it's perfect and like there will be no revising and it can be very frustrating um, because you know you're supposed to, editors don't do it like editors don't do it for the fame and glory you know they do it because they love books and they want to make books better you know so that can be really frustrating. So having knowing that on that side I think makes me a little bit more sympathetic to the editorial side <laughs> to Rosemary. Uh, I, you know, I haven't made the transition yet. Obviously the book is out. Um, I'm I'm really excited. I'm nervous. I mean, it's very different. It's a, definitely an adult book. It's not a book that is basically kind of a teen book, but set with 25 year old or 35 year old characters. Um, the pacing is different. The the voices are different, and the themes are different. It's themes of marriage and childbirth and losing children. And I mean, like it, it has a lot of different themes, which is why I knew it was going to be an adult book. You know, I mean. Teens just literally fundamentally don't care about the in intricacies of like intimate relationships over 25 years. They just don't, you know, as they shouldn't because they're not 25 yet. <laughs> things that I return to about identity and the search for kind of wholeness and the things that show up in my teen novels are there in different ways. I think in some ways, sometimes I just like get obsessed with a couple themes and then I play around with it in all of these different genres. So I'll do play around with it in middle grade, I'll play around with it in teen, and I'll play around with it in adult, and that looks very different.